Why do you persecute me? Jesus asked Saul. Why indeed? Saul, known now as Paul, has a story of great redemption and a reminder that our God is so great he can use anyone to further his message and spread his kingdom. Saul was the man who had persecuted the early church more than almost anyone else. He was a Jew who was relentless in his mission to capture as many of the followers of Jesus as he could. And then he set out for Damascus in the reading today and his life changed. A bright light blinded him, throwing him down literally from his high horse. In his blindness, he heard the voice of Jesus asking Saul why he persecuted him. Nobody traveling with him could hear the voice or see Jesus, only Saul. After this, he was led by hand to Damascus where he locked himself in a room, blind, contemplating all that had happened and eating and drinking nothing for three days. Finally, a Christian healer was motivated by God to go and speak with Saul. He was afraid because he knew that Saul had a reputation for persecuting and imprisoning Christians. But he went anyway because the Lord told him to. When he arrived at Saul's room, he explained to him that this was all part of God's plan, that he would be a great tool for Jesus and the church, traveling and speaking not just to the Jews, but to the Gentiles about the kingdom of God and the redemption to be found in Jesus Christ. After he was healed, he was baptized and he began to spread the word of Jesus far and wide. Now known as Paul, he went from being one of the biggest persecutors of Christians to one of our church's most prolific writers. In fact, most of our New Testament is taken from the writings of Paul. Let us consider this story when we doubt our own ability to add to God's kingdom. Today, let us remember that even if we are small in faith or critical of the church, we are never too far gone to be used by God to spread his message. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you today for our life. We ask you to guide us ever closer to you and use us in a way that you used Paul. Knock us from our elevated positions and give us positions in your kingdom fitting to our skills and talents. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.